Nest pioneered the concept of the smart thermostat, but over the years others have popped up and in some cases offer better features for certain situations. For years I used a Nest learning thermostat, but a few years ago I switched from Google Home as my main smart home ecosystem to Apple Home in an effort to ensure that my wife could more easily use my smart home devices. That led me to installing an Ecobee. Ecobee thermostats are relatively easy to use, but there are some nuances to using Ecobee, and as such you may have some questions about how to use it. That's why I've put together this guide. Here's Here's everything you need to know about using an Ecobee thermostat. Now, it's important to note that some of these features will require an Eco Plus subscription, which is free to use and is built to help customers save money on their energy bill. The trade-off is that Ecobee may partner with your energy company for Eco Plus and will collect a little more data than it otherwise would and may automatically adjust your thermostat on its own. Thankfully, you can turn off Eco Plus or limit how much it actually works, so you're not stuck to using it once you sign up. I'll get more into Eco Plus a little later in this video and I'll note when certain features require an Eco Plus sign up. If this video is helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work and I'd appreciate that support. In this video, I'm not going to go over the complete process of installing an Ecobee thermostat. After all, the installation process does vary a little depending on the thermostat you have and the wiring that your home has. But I do think it's important to note that to use an Ecobee thermostat, you will need a C-wire or the ability to install a power extender kit. I don't have a C-wire or a power extender kit, but there is a workaround the use of a C-wire adapter. The C-wire adapter will plug into a power outlet and wire into your thermostat. It's a pretty crude workaround and it'll result in an ugly wire coming out the bottom of your thermostat, unfortunately. You should always turn the power off at the breaker when you're installing a new thermostat. If you're at all unsure about this process or unsure about installing a thermostat, you should contact a HVAC professional. Installing a temperature sensor, thankfully, is a little easier. You can install a temperature sensor by heading to the app and tapping on the plus icon on the top right, then tapping add a device. Then press room sensor and follow the instructions on the screen to add the sensor. You may or may not want to enable Eco Plus on your thermostat, which will allow for some extra features. To enable Eco Plus, head to the app and tap more on the thermostat. Then tap on the settings icon in the top right hand corner and tap Eco Plus. Then you can toggle it on or off. Once your thermostat is set up, of course, the most obvious thing that you'll want to use it for is to control the temperature. There are two ways that you can do this, on the thermostat itself or using the Ecobee app. On the thermostat itself, you'll have to make sure that your thermostat is in the correct mode. Because the weather is pretty moderate right now, I simply have it set to off. To change modes, hit the mode button here and change it to heat or cool. And since I don't have AC, just heating, I can only select heat. Then tap the temperature button here and press the up or down buttons to change the temperature. Your thermostat will set the heater or cooler to reach the temperature that you have set. Using the app is actually a very similar process. Open up the Ecobee app and change the mode by tapping on this mode button right here and set it to your preferred option if it's not already in that mode. Then tap the temperature and move it up or down by swiping or by pressing the plus or minus icon to the temperature that you want to set it at. Comfort settings are basically shortcuts for what your thermostat should be doing depending on what you're doing. By default, there are three comfort settings, home, away, and sleep. Each of these modes can have their own temperature and you can create new modes too. To change comfort settings on the thermostat itself, head to the three line settings menu, then tap on the settings cog on the bottom right hand corner, and then scroll down and tap comfort settings. Then you can tap on each individual setting to change the temperature. You can't create new comfort modes straight from the thermostat. You'll have to do that in the app. In the app, you'll get similar controls. Open the app and tap more. Then tap the settings button and select comfort settings. Then tap on the comfort setting to change individual temperatures. And hit save. You can press the plus button on the top right hand corner to create new comfort settings. Of course, in an ideal world, you wouldn't need to change the temperature yourself at all. That's where scheduling comes in, allowing the thermostat to automatically change temperature without needing manual adjustment. Like in changing the temperature, you can program a schedule straight from the thermostat itself or by using the Ecobee app. On the thermostat, go to settings, then scroll down to schedule. Then you can select times that you want the thermostat to be off when you're sleeping. 
by tapping the sleep buttons, with the first sleep label for each day actually being a carryover from the previous day. You can then choose a time that you want the thermostat to start heating or cooling by tapping on the little home comfort mode label, then selecting a time. These are the basics of scheduling, but you can also add additional schedules to a day by tapping the plus icon on the top right hand corner and selecting the comfort settings that you want to schedule, from home, away or sleep. Then you can select the time that you want this schedule to start. You can edit each day individually, or you can copy a schedule from a day that you programmed to any other day that you choose. To do this, tap the copy day button at the bottom, then select the days that you want to copy the schedule to and tap save. The process on the app is more or less the same. Open the app and tap the more button on the top right hand corner. Then press the settings button on the top right hand corner. Tap the schedule button. Then you can select when you want the thermostat to start heating or cooling in the morning by tapping the home comfort setting. And you can choose when it should stop by setting a sleep time in the evening. Like on the thermostat, you can copy a day's schedule to another day using the button at the bottom. And selecting the days that you want to copy to. Then hit save. If you use Ecobee's Eco Plus, you'll get access to a schedule assistant. This will learn your behavior and schedule settings for you automatically. You can turn on or off this feature in the app by heading to settings, Eco Plus and schedule assistant. Then turn the toggle on or off depending on your preference. You can have your thermostat automatically adjust the temperature using its sensors to determine if you're home or not. This means that you don't have to schedule every time you leave or manually adjust the thermostat yourself. This smart home and away feature does require Eco Plus. To enable smart home and away on the thermostat, head to the settings menu like before, then tap Eco Plus. Then select the smart home and away feature and toggle it to on or off. On your phone, the instructions are the same. Head to your thermostat and tap more and tap the settings icon. Then press Eco Plus and select the Smart Home and Away option. You can enable or disable the feature here. Some devices will have other settings, like the Follow Me setting. This uses connected room sensors to change the temperature based on the room that you're in, instead of using the sensors in the thermostat itself. This can be toggled on or off in the same spot as the Smart Home and Away feature, in the Eco Plus menu. Ecobee Smart Thermostats can work with Alexa, meaning that you can control them with Alexa speakers or using the Alexa app. Not only that, but some Ecobee Smart Thermostats can actually have Alexa built straight into them, meaning that they double as smart speakers. To set up Alexa to work on your thermostat, open up the app and tap on more. Then tap the settings button. Scroll down and tap link Amazon Alexa. You'll have to follow the on-screen instructions to sign in with Amazon. Once you've linked your account, head to your thermostat and say, Alexa, discover devices. Your thermostat should then be added to your account and Alexa added to the thermostat. If you don't have an Ecopee thermostat that doubles as an actual smart speaker, you should still be able to control it with other Alexa speakers or in the Alexa app. To add your thermostat to Alexa, open up the Alexa app and tap on more in the bottom right hand corner. Then tap the skills and games button. You'll have to search for and add the Ecobee and Ecobee Plus skills. Then you can ask your Alexa to discover smart home devices and select your Ecobee thermostat to add it to your smart home. Alexa isn't the only smart voice assistant that works with Ecobee. You can actually add Siri to the smart thermostat too, though there are some more conditions. Because of Apple's strict security requirements, to add Siri to your Ecobee thermostat, you'll need a HomePod or HomePod Mini in your home. You also can't already be using Alexa on your thermostat. You can't have both Alexa and Siri built into the thermostat. If you meet these requirements, head to the Ecobee app and tap more, then tap the settings button on the top right hand corner and scroll down to HomeKit. Then press add to home kit. Select your home, which I only have one right now, and hit next. Then head over to your thermostat. At the thermostat, tap the three line menu button, then tap settings. Then scroll down and tap on the settings button. Scroll down again and tap on home kit. Press on the enable home kit pairing button and your thermostat will generate a home kit code, which you can scan on your iPhone. After you scan the QR code, press add to home and HomeKit will add the thermostat to your home. Select a room that you want the thermostat to be in, which for me is the living room. Hit continue and then name the thermostat. I'm just gonna call it thermostat. Press continue. You'll be presented with the option to enable Siri on your device. Here you can turn it on. 
Now, if you didn't enable Siri when you set up the device, you can still do so by heading to your thermostat, pressing the settings button, tapping Siri, and pressing toggling, toggling on listen for Siri. Also toggle on touch and hold for Siri. You can't use Google Assistant straight from the Ecobee thermostat itself, but you can still set up your thermostat to work with Google Home and Google Assistant devices. To set up your Ecobee thermostat in Google Home, head to the Google Home app and tap on the Devices tab. Then press the Add button. Press on the Works with Google button. Then search for Ecobee. You'll then have to log into your Ecobee account. Press Accept. And your Ecobee thermostat will be added to your Google Home account. Tap on the thermostat and hit next. Select the home and select where your thermostat is located. And now you can see the thermostat right from the Google Home app. If you use an iPhone, you can make use of the Ecobee widget, which allows you to view certain aspects of your Ecobee thermostat straight from the iPhone's home screen. You can add the Ecobee widget to your home screen or to the widget screen. Wherever you want to add it, tap and hold the screen. Then press the plus icon in the top left hand corner and search for Ecobee. There are a few Ecobee widgets that you can choose from. A small square one, a large rectangle one, and another square one that's for Ecobee security devices. Since I'm adding a widget for my thermostat, I'm gonna add this one here. Press the add widget button at the bottom. If it's placed where you want it to be, you can simply hit done in the top right hand corner, but you can also drag it around to your preferred location. As of the filming of this video, the widget only allows you to view information, not actually change the state of your thermostat. That may change in the future as Apple has laid the groundwork for interactive widgets in iOS. And that's all of the basics of using the Ecobee Smart Thermostat and the Ecobee app. Thanks again for watching this video. And again, if it was helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. My name is Christian and I'll see you next time. See ya.